This is the brain of countless DIY projects and is called Arduino Uno. But what makes it so special? Let's find out. At the core of Arduino Uno is the Atmega 328P microcontroller running at 16 MHz. But to ensure everything runs smooth and stays synchronized, the Arduino uses a 16 MHz crystal oscillator. This component guarantees precise timing for all operations on the board, ensuring that even a millisecond is not missed. Now let's talk about power. You don't want to risk frying your components with too much voltage, right? That's where the AMS1117 voltage regulator comes in. This steps down higher wood voltages between 7 to 12 volts to a safe 5 volt, making sure your Arduino board operates smoothly without damaging any of your sensitive components. This means you have the flexibility in powering your projects whether you are using a wall adapter, a battery pack or even a solar panel. The MS1117 takes care of the regulating voltage. But what if there is a certain surge in power? Well, that's where the resetable fuse comes into play. If too much current flows, the fuse cuts off the power to protect your board. Once it cools down, it resets itself automatically. No need to replace it. Just plug it back in and you are good to go. Now let's move to the input output pins. Arduino gives you 14 digital input slash output pins and 6 of those support pulse width modulation or PWM in short. This means you can control things like motor speed, brightness of LEDs or even servo position with high precision. Picture this, you are building a dimmable lamp with PWM. You can control the brightness of LED in real time, smoothly increasing or decreasing the light. The same concept works for motor speed or servo positions. In addition, there are 6 analog input pins. This pins are designed to read varying voltages, providing the ability to capture a wide range of data from connected components, particularly sensor, to spit out analog signals. The Arduino Uno has a 10-bit ADC and maximum input voltage of 5 volt at analog pins, meaning that it has a precision of 4.8 millivolts at its analog pins, which is impressive. And the difference between reading inputs through digital pins and analog pins in Arduino Uno is on digital pins you get the value as either 0 or 1 but in case of analog input pins you get it in the range of 0 to 1023. Next we have the memory. The Arduino Uno features a 32 kilobytes of flash memory to store your code. There is also a 2 kilobytes of SRAM for handling temporary variables while your code is running and 1 kilobytes of EPROM to store values that survive a reboot. With all these features packed into one single board, that's what makes the Arduino so special. And subscribe for more such exciting videos like